abstractive plane analyze we denote by CR1 as cost reduction the percentage of edges on the path between all the source and destination pairs for which the redundant bit is not sent by part one on an M on N NOC mesh. For example, we can see here the percentage of reduction in the redundant parity based transmission versus the network on chip mesh length and width N. For example, we can see here that the savings are growing as the network grows. We can also derive the equations to indicate the reduction of the redundant bits traffic over the NOC. And we can also indicate the exponential behavior of the parity routing method so it converges to 100%. For example, on a 4 by 4 network on chip mesh and one redundant parity bit with it which attaches to the packet, we save 75% of redundant bits transmission. For two parity bits, part two, where the source and destination coordinates are given, we can save 50% of the redundant bits transmission. This analysis was made taking into account uniform random traffic pattern and uniform random data. What about the power? On the other hand, on, on one hand, we save parity bits transmission and therefore we save power. On the other hand, we need to insert party routing encoder and decoder models into the NOC. So we would like to know the overall results. We denote by power consumption, the power consumption, the total power consumption of the encoder and decoder party routing models plus the savings of the redundant party bits. In the red, we can see a network on chip without the implementation of parity routing. And with the blue line, we can see one which was implemented by PAR1, which indicates one parity bit. We can see that for two by two network on chip, the power reduction achieved by the reduced redundant bits traffic, um, excuse me, for two by two network on chip, the encoder and decoder blocks overhead do not compensate for the power reduction achieved by the reduced redundant bits traffic. However, for three by three knock, the savings are more than 25%. And for 4x4, four four, savings are more than 35%. Therefore, we reduce the power consumption in some of the designs. To summarize, the power derailing statistically reduces the redundant bit transmission. It can be used to reduce wires, and it can be used to increase the network's tra traffic. The parity rally can reduce the power consumption of the NOC as we have less bit transmission and simple error decoding process. Parity routing is scalable. As we said, as the network grows, we save more parity bits. It is lost balance, which we achieve as a favorable result because the data is random, assuming that the data is random and reduces the overhead of error detection in the NOC. Thank you for your attention. Do have time for some questions? I will take questions. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, can you elaborate a little bit uh, 
why when there is a so the, in a VLSI a structure that you showed in the um, first slide, why do we need several paths to send the same packet from source to destination? I didn't get why. Because if we have only one path... No, no, not for this. I mean the general uh, methodology. In the general methodology, if we say, if we send a packet between the source and destination and there is only one path between them, we cannot save the party bits. We need to send them with the data because we cannot embed it in the routing path. No, that is correct. But let's say you want to go from source to destination, right? Mm -hmm. So you can, you can get that X path and then that Y path, right? Right. So why do you need to, because at the beginning you showed three different paths. I'm wondering why do you need three different paths for the normal method? Because the party bits may have different values. And for each value of the party bits, the packet is routed differently to the destination. And because the destination knows which way, every path, every node in the way knows which way he gets the information, if he gets the information on this way, he knows the party bits, whether if he gets the information here, you know there is a different party bit. So that is for the normal method, not your method? I'm talking about the normal method that used, for example, RS, RS coder and decoder. Right. Uh, the normal method assumes only one path one. between source and destination nodes. Um, previous works done in networks and chips shows only X, Y routing or only one path routing between the source and destination and they add the redundant bits anyway whereas we save it because of the path diversity. So then in your method that you have different paths uh, right. I guess the routing is going to be more difficult right because you have several paths for the, the same routing is going to be more difficult that's why we need the party routing encoder and decoder models to determine the routing Any more questions? Yes, please. I think your method, uh, your method is restricted to mesh type network because ex definition of x y direction is not clear in another right. type of uh, network. Is it yes. possible? This example shows a mesh network. We did our research with only mesh networks. However, the method should work whereas you have path diversity. It doesn't have to be mesh, though all the, our methods were taken into consideration that no should be mesh. But if you have edge disjoint between source and destination in any VLSI network, you can route the packet according to the path and embed hide the priority bits information in the routing path because the destination knows from where he gets the information he also knows the, info the priority bits in its way yes please it's more an observation than a, a question but uh, um, there is work on network and chip that uh, um, Selects uh, the path based on the load of the, of the switches, right? So you select uh, how you are routing based on the load of the switch. Uh, and while with your method, uh, then uh, the routing uh, path becomes fixed, right? Well, the, the routing path is always shortest path routing. Yes, but uh, uh, I know it's shorter, shorter path, but. Uh, uh, as you said, uh, there are more solutions, right, that are shorter path. So yeah. uh, there is some research on network and chip that uh, in this situation decides uh, which path to take between the minimum and routing based on the load of the different switches, right? Yes, yes. If, if you, overloaded, if you are right, you are right. If so a priori you know the load, 